hello family how are you doing welcome to a new video so today we are doing some cleaning motivation and some closet organizing so welcome to this video as we do this together guys and i hope you'll get motivated to do this stuff guys and to my premier gang thank you so much for always coming back i appreciate you to my returnees thank you so much guys so we start with the kitchen as you can see this is my baby's closet so i had already done my laundry i had washed my clothes so here they were just waiting to be hanged outside so guys welcome to this video as we do some cleaning and organizing motivation so as you can see the walls have come out because the landlords do have really really bad work with the walls and the kids like playing with them when they look like that. So this is the state of my kitchen sink. So I had tried something. Some people suggested that I cook my groundnuts with water and salt. And guys, this flopped on me because they got burned. Please let me know how you do it please please let me know because i want to try it because it really helps if you cannot use the oil to cook your groundnuts or i just use the oven so as i was doing this the baby i have a baby the baby was playing with the toys and watching cartoon guys please let me know moms let me know how you undo this so he was on cartoon and playing with these toys seated on a chair guys so let me know moms let me know how you do that so from the kitchen you could see him because he is on the sitting room so you just work as you watch him so yeah it's mommy world and you need to survive as you do this so i needed to clean like remove these dishes from the dirty water because i had soaked them there so mostly when i cook ugali i soak my dishes because ugali sticks to your dishes and it's hard to clean so and I always put my dirt from the sink in a paper, mostly the bread papers or nylon papers. Yeah, so it makes them it makes it so easy to dispose them. So if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and here we always do our dishes with some warm or hot water because mostly dishes have oil and we also do clean our, our mostly our things that have small spaces with the toothbrush. So in this kitchen, toothbrush is really, really important. So if you have not gotten yourself a toothbrush, please, please. As you'll see in this video, you really, really need one in your kitchen. And with kids, you will always have lots of plastic, mostly when you, you have these dishes where kids use plastics. So I don't know in your house what kind of dishes do your kids use or which, what kind of utensils do you buy for your kids. Like for me, they use plastic like the cups, the small plates, the small, the small balls. Yeah, you use plastic because uh the other cups we are not using also i would i also love using the plastic really so please let me know what you use so here we were just cleaning this for here just roughly because it is not yet the day to clean our sphere or to thoroughly clean clean our sphere because we had done we had already done that this week
So my living room has also other sink that you can use to clean something that cannot be cleaned from the sink. As you can see, my sink here was full of dishes. So I was cleaning my rack or my dish all the in the sitting room. So it's a nice sink and I love it. So here we are just rinsing these utensils. Yeah guys and Nairobi also Nairobi has been really 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 cold. So guys here yeah, as I was showing you this this is the clay is it clay or what is it called? The, the the modeling clay the ones that children play with so i use i i have i've realized that i have so many of those containers and now i can recycle them so i if i i, I really will need like two eggs or three or four i just carry that container and my eggs are safe so uh, it's a good way of recycling that container i also really want to plant some some plants in those containers because they have become so many in this house So for the pot, mostly every time I boil either meat or anything with it, I always I always put it on my gas and make sure it with full of water and make sure it heats up the water. It makes it so easy to clean it. So let me know how you clean this. I don't know most. I think most of you do not have this pot. So this one I got it from Naivash, I think some t uh, like two years ago so it was bought from there like 500 bob so i don't know how much they cost now yeah but it is it is really a really a nice spot for your cooking mostly for the dairy and boiling your meat So here we were done with the dishes as you can see and now the next part of this video that we were going to do was to clean our cooker so please let me know how many times you clean your cooker so for me I just make sure that every day I wipe it like just a slight cleaning so as you can see I was cooking I think I was cooking eggs here and guys I realized another act about eggs so here I was boiling some eggs with the lemon and you guys I just realized that when you boil your eggs with the lemon it's all it's so easy to peel them I I someone someone suggested that act and I tried it and it is true guys so please when you're boiling your eggs as as, as in as much as the lemon helps your sfurianos to become dull it also helps your eggs to peel faster so try it out so yeah i was just cleaning my to my top cooker service with this socks that i use to clean it so in this water i just added some soap like the detergent that is in the bathroom and some some vinegar to eat and it was some warm water guys i used warm so the warm water makes the cleaning or removing the food spillage that is on top of the of the cooker easier compared to the cold water so and the the, the toothbrush was to remove any food particles around these cooker tops that are used to light the the, the, the gas So as always, the vinegar always gives gives your your cooker service a very nice clean. Even if it's a light one, it becomes so clean. So here yeah, I was just wiping them out. Remember, I was not doing a deep cleaning of these things of of the of the cooker. So of, I was just 
just wiping it clean so that I can cook it, cook with it in the afternoon. So there you go, guys. The 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 cooker is clean. So this is a Ramptons, and now it's clean, guys. Remember the toothbrush. So the next thing that we are going to do on this video, guys, is organizing my baby's closet. So this is the closet. This is the state of this closet at this point, guys. Look at how disorganized this place is. Everything is everywhere and a lot of masks are here. So before the, I don't know, we, I, we rarely use the masks now just maybe because of dust or something but we really use the mask so before corona was made or oh, it was said it is no longer there we had bought a lot of them so they are still here so this is how the the cabinet oh are they, are they yeah yes they, i think they are, they are cabinets how the cabinets look they are really really disorganized with a lot of stuff in here that should not be on them so at the bottom we have shoes these are sh the shoes for the five year old so all these things i'm going to remove them from here and then arrange this closet again so i only use this space for storage of the baby clothes and there my phone fell down guys <laughs> eh, you know uh, i i didn't want to i didn't want to edit out that part because it is the reality of editing and content creation guys yeah my phone fell down from the ring light yes so here yeah, i was I, I i i think we are almost just moving so these ones are book covers that, that is what cbc has become we have some books there some clothes that are just down there so i rarely read yeah but i have never read that book I don't know what it's doing there so this one is for covering the books so if you I, a cbc mom you know the drill guys yeah so we are just cleaning the cabinets removing what is not needed here is we are going to clean it up and start organizing the clothes so for this one i was doing i was going to uh, as you can see the stuff that is in these cabinets but no, they are not cabinets ready. They are drawers. The thing, the things in these drawers are not even clothes. So we are going to remove all this stuff here and now arrange the baby clothes. So we are going to do the baby clothes for the one year old and the five year old. So they are going to use this closet for both of them. So I just got uh, socks and put it in some soapy water and wiped out the drawers. So, so one, of, so the drawers are not of a very good quality because if you can see well, this is cardboard, the one that separates the shops. If you know what that cardboard, so it's not that strong. But the thing I like about these drawers is that they are bigger. So they can keep lots of clothes and if you are a mom, you know you have so many many cl baby clothes that you need to keep there if mostly if you are a mom of multiples. So here guys I was just showing you how I fold my clothes. So these were the sweaters. Please let me know how you fold your baby sweaters or how you fold your sweaters. So this is how I do it. Just fold it from the back side then bring the bring them the long sleeves in in to the center then fold from the from the bottom i hope you have seen that please let me know how you do this so it's just an easy process as you can see because i did a few pieces here so yeah there you go it's just an easy one please let me know how you fold yours so I found it, I find this one so easy to do. Yeah, and I do it for my baby clothes.
and for the trousers so i always fold my trousers when they are not inside out so i just make sure i remove them well and they are ready to wear so i just fold them like that so some people do not like folding clothes when they are on this like when they are not inside out because they say they get dust oh my dear god i can't just come and start removing clothes then turning them because i want the baby to wear them at that point so i just turn them on the right side and then fold them please let me know whether you fold them inside out or on the right side so for the for the what for the this is not a dagger so for the light rompers it is just like the sweaters just bring the ants in then fold from the bottom and for the shirts it's just an easy fold so please let me know how you fold your clothes so mostly i fold my clothes when i have washed the ones that i've washed today will be folded after maybe after two to three days so i really don't like keeping my unfolded clothes mostly because if i keep them i'll never fold them and i'll be wearing them from the laundry basket so i like fold when i get them from the clothing line i just fold them So this is how I do the baby shirts and for the body suits this is how I do it just fold them so I never I don't button them because I think it's also stressing to come in and button them when I want to use them on the baby so it's just a simple a simple way of folding my clothes so for these ones I was just trying to remove them here because I'm not going to put them on the drawers so as you can see this big sweater like the others you just fold from the from the bottom then from the arms or the long sleeves and to the from the bottom then you make that like a, like a rectangle so there you go guys so here I was just trying to clear the bed So to make sure that my closet, the drawers, the, oh, the baby clothes are not crowded in the drawers, what I do, I have these bags or suitcases that I keep easy in New Zealand, the sandy dust, <laughs> as we used to call it in high school. So these ones are usually kept in the bag and they stay there in the bag. So they are easy to access because I don't have to go remove all the other clothes to find them. So I keep them separately from the ones that they wear daily. So please let me know how you do them. Do you put your baby clothes together, the ones that they use daily and the ones that they don't? So let me know on the comment section. So also the big ones like this one. This one is a really big trouser. So this one I can never put it in the drawers because it's really really big and takes a lot of space. So yeah, you, there you go guys. So. We just put them there and when we want to access the clothes when they want to go out there and have some fun that is what we do so for this one this one there are yeah there are also so many other masks so guys i think corona it really confused us because that is like those are around four boxes of masks that we had and they have been around for some time now so here yeah, I was just removing the, the sweaters or the clothes that I should not be here because this bag is for the shawls you guys I have accumulated so many shawls although most some of the shawls that you see in this bag are like five years old they are from from the first baby so yeah like the blue one yes the 
the the towel those ones are like five years old so i still i'm still holding on to them so please let me know whether you give out your stuff mostly baby stuff or do you keep it and wait for the next baby so like this one with the one with the the, the pictures and then more print the other one that still it's five years old so it's still here guys i also then giving out this stuff so i have given some and others retained because maybe of attachment i think So this closet has around it has four drawers so on the third drawer from top we put the socks the body suits the the, the what the coffee the baby coffees and all that and the baby socks so here we just mix the baby socks and the other the big boy socks because you can I can differentiate between the two and it will be so easy for me to pick them up so please let me know how you do this so yeah there you go so because we have clothes that are still outside so yeah there are clothes that are on the hanging line so here we have you can hang clothes on the balcony or you can hang, hang them outside so this is an open space so here are the clothes so this i'm going to get also these ones and as you will see at the end of this video guys these clothes will be on the closet too because i'm going to pick them up now and go and arrange them in the closet so here guys i am done arranging these clothes so there you there you go so this is what i have done so yeah the the, the drawers have really fitted the the baby clothes and we even have more space left so this is the trouser drawer where we are putting the baby trousers then down here down here we have the we have the bodysuit and all that in the socks and the ads all the coffees of the baby so we have one drawer left so you remember i said that we have clothes that are outside so those ones will go into that last drawer so there you go guys that is how it turned out and the cloth the other cloth that i told you i never put them in the in the drawers are here on this bag then the other ones are on the other bag which are the shawls belonging to the baby so there you go guys so please let me know how you arrange your baby clothes whether you arrange them daily so then here are the shoes goes on to this so here is where the blue bag is on top there so this thing holds the it holds the, the shoes belonging to the five year old so there you go guys so these are the extra clothes that are outside yeah we are going to arrange this when they dry so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you have learned something today so thank you for watching to my premiere thank you for joining and see you on the next video bye guys